Hi, and welcome to this Internet Geography, Rapid Revision video. In this video, we'll explore the dynamic coastal landscapes of the UK, focusing on one of the most fundamental elements shaping our coast. Waves. Let's dive into the world of waves to understand their types and characteristics. Firstly, what is a wave? A wave is a disturbance on the surface of the sea or ocean in the form of a moving ridge or swell. Waves are caused by energy transfer from the wind to the sea. As the wind blows over the sea's surface, it creates friction, forming waves. A common misconception is that waves are formed by tides. Tides are actually caused by the gravitational pull of the moon, and to a lesser extent, the sun. In deep water, molecules within a wave move in a circular movement, so waves tend to be less visible further from the coastline. It is only in shallow areas that the water itself moves forward, which occurs along the coastline where the land meets the sea. Waves begin life, far out at sea, as the wind drags on the surface of the ocean. Three factors influence wave size and energy. These are wind speed, wind duration, and fetch. Wind speed has a significant effect on the size of waves. The stronger the wind, the larger the wave because of the energy transfer. Wind duration also affects the size of a wave. The longer the wind blows over the sea or ocean, the larger the wave. The size of a wave also depends on its fetch, which is the distance it travels. The greater the fetch, the larger the wave. This is why surfing is popular on the southwest coast of England. Waves travel all the way across the Atlantic Ocean, leading to ideal conditions for surfers. Waves have a range of characteristics you need to be aware of. The highest part of a wave is called its crest. The lowest part is called its trough. The distance between the crest and trough is the wave height. The distance between two crests is the wavelength. As we mentioned earlier, water molecules within a wave move in a circular motion in deep water. However, as the wave approaches the shore, frictional drag slows the lower part of the wave, causing the molecules to move in an elliptical motion. As the base of the wave is slowed down, the upper part travels faster, causing the wave to tilt and break as it moves towards the shore in the surf zone. Swash refers to the movement of water up the beach after a wave breaks. It is driven by the wave's energy as it crashes onto the shore. Swash carries materials like sand, pebbles, and other sediments up the beach, contributing to sediment deposition. Backwash is the water that flows back down the beach into the sea after the swash. It happens as the water from the swash loses energy, and gravity pulls it back towards the ocean. Backwash helps to remove material from the beach, taking it back into the sea, which can lead to erosion if the backwash is stronger than the swash. Understanding the characteristics of waves is crucial for managing and protecting our coastlines. Why not test your knowledge of waves by taking the quiz on Internet Geography? Click the link above or in the description below. Let us know how you get on in the comments. Thanks for watching this Internet Geography Rapid Revision video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel.